Well, hello, lupus warriors all around the world, lupus warriors and survivors. Welcome to a pop-up video brought to you by the Loris Lupus and Support Channel. As you know, normally I don't do videos on Saturday. Uh, the normal days for uh, video production is on Friday and on Sunday. But today I decided to pop in because I wanted to share some good news with you and I wanted to be transparent with you. I feel that as the leader of this community, I need to share not only my successes and my highlights, but I need to share with you the things that I struggle with regarding my lupus. Uh, as you know, uh, lupus can have you on, you know, so many different ups and downs. And so those of you that understand, you know, what it's like to be a lupus warrior, you will understand. And so today I want to pop in. I wanted to be transparent, share with you some things that I've been struggling with, but then also share the good news and let you know that I have my struggles too. And that there is light at the end of the, at the tunnel, at the end of the tunnel, whatever you're facing today, that there is light at the end of the tunnel. And so I had a doctor's appointment on yesterday and most times as lupus warriors, you see many different doctors and sometimes um, certain doctors want to see you every three months, every six months, maybe even once a year, depending on what's going on. As you know, sometimes as well, when I make videos, the topic may be due to someone else dealing with this particular issue, you know, on their lupus journey. And sometimes I make videos regarding issues that I may be dealing with on my lupus journey. And I'm not the kind of person to come out and, and come on, this, on the videos and say, oh, you know, I'm going through this or this is a health concern of mine. Every once in a while, I may say, you know, give a hint that this is something that I'm dealing with. But in order to be transparent, uh, sometimes I do need to share with you guys, you know, uh, some of the, the health concerns that I may be facing at the moment, not to garner sympathy or anything like that, but just to let you know that everything is not always sunshine and unicorn and, and roses for me. But I feel that as a leader, I don't want to come on here and and just bombard you with things that I'm going through with. You know, I created this channel to encourage you, not to mean that I don't need encouragement or that I don't have struggles, but I just, I like to pick the time and the moments to reveal my struggles. I mostly come on here for you guys to encourage you in spite of my struggles. You know, sometimes I may disappear for a few weeks because I'm not feeling well, uh, but sometimes I come on here anyway, I show up anyway, in spite of how I'm feeling and what struggles I may be facing. Believe me, my life is not picture perfect. Um, my lupus journey is not picture perfect. It's just like yours. It has its ebbs and flows and fluctuations, but that's not neither here or there for me to get on here and to, to pressure you with that you know i think that when i come on here i want you to take your mind off of whatever you're dealing with uh, to encourage you to know that with hope and with faith that whatever you're facing you're going to make it through it that there is light at the end of the tunnel that what you're going through right now is temporary and to let you know that god's grace is sufficient his grace is sufficient. It's always sufficient. And where you are today on your lupus journey does not mean that tomorrow or next week that you're going to be in that same position. Life is forever changing. Life is forever moving forward. And so there are certain periods of time where we have the sunshine and the rain. We have joy and we have pain, 
but we have to persevere. We have to keep pressing through. The important thing is to be consistent and to keep showing up and to keep pressing forward, even though things are pressing against you and all odds are against you. It's so important to remain consistent, to remain steadfast, to remain immovable and determine that you are going to make it through this. And that is the purpose of this channel to educate about lupus, to bring awareness about lupus, but also to let you know, no matter where you are on this journey, if you're at the beginning, the middle, or whatever the case may be, that you are going to make it through this. With a dash of faith and a cup of hope and a teaspoon of perseverance and determination, you are going to make it through this. OK, and so that's why it's important for me to come on here and to show you, you know, and to share with you my successes. OK, and so that is the purpose of this video today, to share some good news. How many of you could use some good news? I know there are periods and times when periods of time where I could really use some good news. So today is that day where I share with you things that I've been struggling with but then also things that I have persevered in. Many of you may not know this, but sometimes I hint to it. Um, I've been struggling with, you know, anemia. I've been struggling with my low white blood cell count, and I've been struggling with low potassium levels. My friend, let me tell you something. When your potassium gets dangerously low, there's not enough peels and bananas in the world to bring it up. Therefore, you have to have a potassium infusion. And if you can avoid getting a potassium infusion, my friend, eat your bananas, eat your avocados, drink your orange juice, take your potassium pills because a potassium infusion is not fun. Actually, it is excruciating and painful. When that potassium has to be sent through your veins, it feels like gravel, pebbles going through your veins. And it's the most painful thing besides childbirth that I have ever experienced in my life. And I promised myself once that potassium infusion was over that I would never allow my potassium to get to that point again. So, again... These are some of the things that I've been struggling with on my lupus journey, but I must say that I've overcome with uh, prayer, hope, faith, taking my medications, a few little tweaks to my diet. I've been able to get things within normal range. So let's start, first of all, with the RBC count, which is your red blood cell count. The normal range for RBC is 4.0 to 5.50. And I must say that mine is at a 4.26. My WBC count, which is my white blood cell count, which is this year has been really low. And we know that the WBC count is also a part of your immune system, which uh, was of a great concern for my doctor. The normal range is 3.40 to 11. Mine is right smack in the middle at a 4.33. My hemoglobin, the normal range for that, hemoglobin is the part of the red blood cell that takes oxygenated blood to the rest of the body and to the other cells. That also, the, with the red blood cells and the hemoglobin, helps to determine if you're anemic or not. The normal range for that is 11.5 to 16.0. Mine is at 13.0. My potassium level as of yesterday revealed that I'm at a 4.0. The normal range for your potassium is 3.5 to 5.0. Uh, they checked my calcium level. I'm at a 10.4. The normal range is 8.5 to 10.5. My glucose level, which uh, they use the results of the glucose test or your glucose level in your blood to determine if you're pre-diabetic or diabetic. The normal range for that is between 68 to 105. 
Mine, I'm happy to say, is at a 98. And so I just wanted to share um, share that with you. You know, this is some good news for me to receive these test results on yesterday. This is great news. And so uh, the only thing I need to do is to maintain this, you know, keep on taking my medications, uh, following the doctor's orders, tweaking my diet, you know, cutting out uh, foods that are not good for me and adding foods that are good for me. And so I just wanted to you know, celebrate with you guys that, you know, things are better for me. My levels are much better. So thank you so much for joining me. Thank you for uh, stopping by. And if you're watching this, you know, listening to this pop-up video uh, on a Saturday, as I say at the end of every video, there is life after lupus and that God loves you with all of his heart. And he has a plan a purpose and a destiny that involves you showing up as you. You can't show up as someone else. You can't wear someone else's armor. You can't walk in someone else's shoes. You have to show up as you. And so God bless, stay strong, stay encouraged, and I'll talk to you all soon on the next video, which is tomorrow. And I'll be doing my Sunday shout out. I've been seeing you guys active in the comments section. And so I appreciate you all. Bye for now, my friends. God bless.